What's up, hikers? It's Eric, the lollygagging hiker. I'm just here today to talk to you guys about base weight and why it is important. Um, even if you're just a weekend guy, there's a lot of people that say that base weight's not important unless you're a through hiker or yada yada. But from my personal experience over the past year or so of taking up this hobby, um, my pack weight was probably 45 pounds when I first started. And um, I am down to around 10 pounds base weight now, uh, just by choosing different kinds of insulation to different kinds of shelter um, and just being conscious about what I'm actually putting in my pack. Um, even for two days, I catch myself, oh, I, I need an extra pair of underwear, extra pair of jeans. No, no, just you know, wear what you got out on your body Take a rain jacket if anything extra. Um, I'm not here to tell you how to pack your pack. Um, I'm here to show you guys how I pack my pack and uh, exactly what I take out with me. Um, of course, depending on if I'm three season or if I'm doing deep winter trip, uh, which I hope to bring you guys along in the future and uh, do some trips out there with you guys and take you guys down the trail with me and kind of show you guys um, the way I like to do my hikes and especially how I like to set up camp and uh, be out there and enjoy the backwoods. So let's get into it guys. Uh, without further ado, um, I was hoping to do an unboxing but uh, you know since I live so close um, I just had my quilts delivered uh, personally by somebody who I know that works there. So I got a new 40 degree under quilt from UGQ Outdoor. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with them, it's uh, Underground Quilts. Uh, they specialize in quilts for hammocking, uh, hence the underquilt. Also, they have a great line of um, the banded top quilts. They make them for adults, children, XL. They are full customizable, so no matter what you're looking for, they'll be able to work with you and uh, figure out something for you. But yeah, so super excited about these guys. Um, I will do a video just on these two quilts um, coming up soon. And um, so yeah, got a 40 degree top quilt, 40 degree under quilt. Both of them are 950 fill Ultima Gusto. Uh, the under quilt is a three quarter length. So it covers just from your shoulders to about just uh, above or below your knee, depending on your height. And uh, so I'm very excited about these two guys here. Um, next up on the essentials for just going out for a weekend and trying to maintain that 10 pound base weight. This is my dream hammock, Sparrow. Um, and the tree straps with the uh, suspension for the continuous loops and carabiners are both inside of the stuff sack as well as the hammock and the mosquito net. Um, and then depending on if I'm going out in the summer or the winter, if I'm going in the winter or if it's going to be, you know, rain or thunderstorms in the forecast, I will take my UGQ Winter Dream tarp. Uh, this does have doors on it, so they do snap shut, so you'll you're pretty much inside of a tent. Um, I have got a continuous ridge line on here with the loop aliens, uh, as well as two micro beaners. It's inside of its uh, tarp sleeves right now. But that is for heavier rain in the forecast, snow, deep winter camping. Summertime, I'll use my War Bonnet Mamba Jamba tarp. It's just a hex uh, tarp, no doors, um, but plenty of protection for just rain or being out in the summer, spring, fall. So that works out, saves you some weight. Um, next up for water filtration, I use the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, this is the large one. Personally, I just prefer it. Filters water faster. Um, and the minis freeze up a lot quicker in the cold than these guys do, just uh, in my personal experience. But um, just use this with uh, usually two smart water bottles. I'll carry like a larger one liter bottle and then I'll carry like a smaller medium guy with little flip tops. So I'll use a large guy for my dirty water and just squeeze it into uh, you know one of the just smaller smart water bottles with the flip cap on them. 
and uh, that works out for me. Um, whatever works out for you works out for you, but that works out perfectly for me. And then um, next thing, I went through probably a few different camp pillows. This pillow has been a game changer for me. This is the Nemo Philo Luxury Elite Pillow. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but pretty close. Um, this thing has been great and it comes in at about, um, I think four ounces. Let me check here on the scale. 3.9 ounces and the stuff sack's integrated. So the stuff sack is actually sewn into the pillow. You can't really go wrong with it. It's great. Pillow. And then, uh, next thing I will take with me is my canister stove. It is in its stuff sack and that comes in at... 6.7 ounces, um, probably come in just uh, about maybe 6.1, 6.2 without the stuff sack. Um, next item I take with me is my sea to stomach spoon. I keep the micro beaner on there because it literally doesn't even affect the weight on this. Uh, that comes in at um, 0.5, so maybe 0.4 without the carabiner. And uh, next up would be black diamond uh headlamp this thing has been great um it's got a red light super bright um i'm not really for sure 100 percent on all the tech specs on it but it's been great to me um i've had it out on a couple 20 mile trips did like nine mile night hike with it on ultra bright almost the whole time and uh batteries are still holding up i haven't noticed any dimming or anything on that yet and uh it's been great to me so Highly recommend this piece of gear. Um, with the three AAA batteries inside the headlamp, it comes in at 2.8 ounces. Again, I mean, it's all about the choices that you make when it comes to your gear. I know there are wider headlamps out there, um, but um, I'm not through hiking, so 2.8 ounces for a headlamp that I'm happy with is worth it to me. Um, and then again, with the under quilt, well, let's see here. Um, well, this one is the top quilt, 40 degree top quilt. In its stuff sack, that comes in at 19.4 ounces. And the under quilt, three quarter length, 40 degree, comes in at 18.0 ounces, uh, both in their stuff sacks. And uh, since I didn't go over with the Dream Hammock weight, I'll throw that on there too. Um, the Dream Hammock comes in with tree straps, carabiners, and everything at 27.9 ounces. Um, and then another piece of equipment that I got for Christmas from Santa Claus is the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. I am so happy to finally have this piece of gear. And once I get some more time with this under my belt, I will do a review video on this gear. Um, happy to tell you guys so far, I love it and it's been working extremely well for me. So I do highly recommend this. Uh, they do have the mini that will save you about 50 to maybe 80 to hundred dollars, depending on where you get yours from. Um, personally, when it comes to buying expensive electronics, I would recommend not buying them at REI and maybe going through Amazon to save yourself a few bucks. I know they do have refurbished models of these on Amazon. Um, so if you don't mind doing or going that route, you can save yourself even a few more bucks. So, but yeah, highly recommend this piece of gear. You really can't, uh, it makes you feel a lot comfortable when you're out there, especially when you're soloing, um, to have the SOS button and just be able to let your friends and family know where you're at and that you're safe and um, you know that you're having a good trip. So definitely recommend having this out on the trail um, if you can afford it. But uh, anyway, this uh, comes in at 8.5 ounces. So very lightweight. Uh, you can probably pull the carabiner off and uh, maybe even save yourself. Um, yeah, you can save yourself uh, 0.7 ounces if you go without the carabiner. So. But again, great piece of gear. You really can't go wrong with it. Um, and then for me, this is just kind of a luxury item, especially when I go out solo. It just makes me feel 
more comfortable when I'm at camp and settling in for the night. Uh, and that's the Yuko Candle Lantern. Um, I run beeswax candles in mine, but as you can see, it's got a little thing so I can kind of hang it from my ridge line when I'm in my hammock at nighttime. Um, it really just makes the experience more comfortable with that soft glow of the candlelight when you're out in the woods by yourself. Um, you know, you might hear some coyotes in the background and kind of just stare at the candle and forget about what's going on around you. So yeah, no, it's, ultimately for me, it just makes the camping experience a little more personal and uh, to me, I enjoy taking that out. So that comes in at uh, 6.3 ounces with the candle in there. And uh, I think I've used, there's a little viewing window on the side and it looks like I've used maybe not even a quarter. So there's still over three quarters of a candle left in there, which is uh, great. And I think they burn about 10 hours, so the beeswax ones do. So, um, but yeah, and then other than that, if I'm going to go out and do some deep winter camping, what I'll do is I will take my war bonnet. This is the Blackbird XLC. So it's the second edition of the Blackbird. And this is the double layer hammock. Um, and it's the heavyweight. So this one can support up to 500 pounds. And the reason why I take this one out in the winter, even though I do have a 10 degree full length under quilt from UGQ that I absolutely love and that does keep me pretty dang warm. Uh, I like to be able to take this Thermarest uh, Z-Lite sole and stick this in between the two layers and then put my under quilt on. And uh, yeah, that's a, a sure way to get a good sleep when it's cold outside. Um, and this guy comes in about two pounds. So I'll only take him out if I'm going on an overnight in the winter time. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what I take as my base. And um, again, smart water bottles. So I don't really have um, any of that to show you guys today. I can show that to you on a trip. But uh, as far as my pack goes, um, I did pick up this is a... I think it's a, okay, it's an Osprey. It's a 50 to 70 liter um, pack liner, dry bag. So all my uh, quilts go in here. My hammock goes in here. Uh, I put my tarp on the outside pocket so it can dry if it has condensation or if it got wet the night before. Pillow will go in here. Um, anything that I don't want to get wet. My clothes, you know, extra socks, any of that kind of stuff. And that slides right into my pack. And this has worked out great. And um, it was worth the 30 bucks I paid for it. Can't really beat it. Um, and then the pack, well, this is the newest one, is gonna be the Osprey. And this is the 60 liter levity uh, version of the pack. And um, fortunately the brain's not removable. I wish it was, but um, so far, it's been a great pack. Um, really enjoying it. I've only taken it out on one 24-mile uh, loop, and uh, it worked out great. My shoulders were hurting a little bit the second day, but um, you know it's all about getting it dialed in. So I want to spend a little more time with this before I give you guys my thoughts on this pack. But uh, so far, I like it, and it comes in um, under two pounds. So. It is a great pack uh, from Osprey, and this is like their their version of an ultralight pack, but still have your mesh backing and load lifters and all the things that you would want out of a pack that, you know, you would take out just on the regular, but more with an ultralight kind of uh, thing going on with it. So, but let me throw that on the scale for you guys. All right, that's weighing in in between 28 and 29 ounces. We'll call it 29 point, 29.3 ounces. So it's weighing it empty. So again, great pack from Osprey. They did a good job with this. Uh, it does have some carbon stays in it as well. But um, yeah, I want to spend some more time with that before I really go into details on that pack. Um, yeah, so for you guys that were wondering kind of, 
you know, what I take out there with me, that's basically it, except for, you know, I'll throw in an extra pair of socks or two, um, extra pair of underwear, maybe, um, you know, I might have my first aid kit, which I don't have here with me right now. And, um, you know, it's like my ditty bag with some, you know, seam sealing stuff and maybe a couple patches, but I don't really use pads, so I don't generally take that out. Maybe, you know, a little bit of Dyneema tape or something for my tarp, you know, if I ever get a rip in that or something. Uh, but other than that, um, that's about it. And uh, see you guys down the trail. Signing out.